Hello and welcome to my corner of the world. Today I'm going to show you another technique with ribbon and this time I'm going to show you how to tie these double bows. They look particularly spectacular when you use them on cards. Here's one I've I've done and used the crinkle um, seam binding. Uh, this one again is using the crinkled seam binding but it really does give a lovely uh, bow. So here we go. I'm gonna show you on two different thicknesses of um, or widths of ribbon. And it's difficult to say how much ribbon that you do need. I try to leave mine on the bolt as long as I possibly can. Um, and I found that with this one, I need about 15 inches of, of, of ribbon. So you're going to start and lay your piece of ribbon down over the front of your fingers. And then you're gonna do a figure of eight. So you're gonna pull it round like this and over this, your, your middle finger, and then back over your forefinger, and then continuing the figure of eight in front of your third finger, and then you're gonna bring it up here. And this is where you need to get your scissors and cut yourself the piece of ribbon off. Then you're gonna take this piece of ribbon here and you're gonna feed it down between your fourth, your four, or your first finger and your middle finger and bring it out from here. Oh, she says. It's harder to do slow than to actually do it quickly and just pull it tight and bring it round and you're going to slip it underneath the loop so you're slipping this this let this end underneath where it the original piece like that so you're basically you've just sort of tied a single knot and then you are going to work this end like this to pull it tight now the size of your bow will depend on how um, far you hold your fingers apart so then you're just gonna gently fee pull it pull it off there we go come on there we are and then you'll just give it a little twist to pretty it up and then you're just going to trim the ends like that and there you've got your bow. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you again with a thinner ribbon. And I found that with this thinner ribbon, you're probably looking at about 12 inches. So again, I'm gonna lie it across my fingers and I'm gonna go over and under my forefinger, over and under my middle finger. And I'm kind of making, if you can see, a figure eight. And then over, and under, over, and under. And then I'm gonna just drape that over my finger, cut my length, and then I'm gonna feed this back over, back over there, and you're going to probably cut it a little bit short, but that's fine, let's do it again. So, over the forefinger and under, over the middle finger and under, over and under. Then you're gonna bring this piece through and you're gonna feed it down between your fingers and pull it through. Then you're going to pull it underneath the loop Okay, I'm trying to do this slowly to show you. Underneath the loop and then pull tight, nice and firm. And then just gently ease off your fingers, off your fingers. And then just pretty it up a little bit. 
and then you can trim off your spare. So there we are, really straightforward to do when you know how, these things are always easy when you know how. I would just then attach each of those to my to my cards uh, with um, with a glue dot. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. I appreciate your your joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.